Hey everybody, Charles with GMAT Ninja here with your GMAT Club Quant Question of the Day. As always, if you've never seen this question before, please hit the pause button, give it a shot on your own. And for the rest of you, we'll keep going. <clears throat> okay, this one's pretty straightforward. We got two sets of numbers. Set A has two, three, four, four, and four. Set B has zero, one, and two. We're going to select one from each set. We want to know what's the probability that the sum is prime. Probability, just the definition of probability here. It's always the number of desired outcomes over the number of total outcomes. Easy enough here. How many total outcomes do we have? Well, it's got to be five times three, five elements in A, three elements in B. So right off the bat, we've got our denominator. All we need to do is get the numerator whole bunch of different little tiny shortcuts you can take here. I'm going to do this in a fairly straightforward way and just say, you know what, we're going to count these up because it's really not that hard here. So if you're adding zero to each of the elements in A, we've got two, three, four, four, and four. How many primes do we have? Just those two. Let's add one to each of those items in A, and we get three, four, five, five, five. So we've got three more there, one more there. We're up to six primes. And if we add two to each of those, we get four, five, six, six, six. And one more. Count them up. Count them carefully. Haven't spent that much time on this question. Might as well be careful. Two, another four. That's six. That gives us seven. Answer seven over 15. And that's all we have to do here. And that's it for today. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, I'm Charles with GMAT Ninja, and we'll see you tomorrow.